Hey, how's it going? Welcome to my channel, Aries Fire Tarot. My name is Robin. I'm doing your daily tarot card reading from Monday, May 22nd. So this is a general reading, guys. Uh, hopefully it resonates. If not, then um, what can I tell you? <laughs> anyway, so let me, uh, I'm shuffling out the Witch's Tarot and I'll start pulling some cards and my guides are asking me to just pull three cards over. Okay, so hmm, this could be kind of one of those days where you might call it a blue Monday, okay? So I pulled the Five of Cups. I've also pulled the Queen of Swords and I've also pulled the Ace of Cups. I'm just gonna write your video title down, hold on. So this is the message that I'm getting from my guides, okay? You can see here in the Ace of Cups, it's really like the energy is overflowing from the cups. And I, I see this kind of as some sort of emotional release for you, maybe being able to cry about something. And it, it looks like with this Queen of Swords here, I'll show her to you. You've been strong long enough, okay? You've been strong for other people and kind of holding your chin up and maybe taking it on the chin to a certain extent and, and just getting through things like a really brave soldier, okay? But I see something, oh, this is really painful when you see this Five of Cups. There is this, I'm getting the words from my guides, kind of like an ocean of regret, okay? Or there is something so deep in your stomach. So some of you could be experiencing even symptoms of maybe nausea or, you know, some sort of toilet bowl <laughs> trauma. <laughs> and I'll leave it at that, but it just may be a nervous stomach, maybe feeling like butterflies in the stomach today. And, and this is your body asking you to, you know, go ahead and have that a lot of people call it a meltdown when you just really sob uncontrollably, okay? So I feel like you need to do this at some point today. And there could actually be something that happens during the day that is going to set you off. And you could feel like you're upset with someone else. And it's probably going to be a water sign because we're seeing the Five of Cups. So that's going to be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. So you could accidentally redirect the energy that is already bubbling up within you towards this water sign so you don't have to deal with this inner turmoil that I'm seeing here okay but you've got a brave face for everyone and I'm getting this sense here with the queen of swords that people have been asking you are you okay can I do anything to help um and you're blowing them off hey I'm good you know because there's something in your character that just you need to be the strong one for everybody else okay but you know strong people need strong people um caregivers need somebody to give care to them and you need to sort of honor that okay so if you do get set off or you know somebody that is getting set off today maybe you're the water sign and maybe somebody else is like telling you off or tearing a strip off of you there's something deeper going on and that needs to be addressed. And if that root issue isn't going to be like talked about and maybe it's something that there's like a deep sense of shame involved. Anyway, I'm going to pull one more card. Okay, so there's something that people don't talk about. I've got the magician here and it, it's in these really deep emotions that you can find your true sense of power. And I think what people associate negative emotions, um, they they just associate it. It's not even an, a negative emotion. It's de defined that way. Um, you can really find your source of magic in those moments because you're releasing all of these things. And you can have these epiphanies and aha moments and, and just sort of block any like unblock any sort of latent magic that this pain and misery, and I'm getting a real deep sense of shame here. Like maybe you did something that was not, okay, whatever. Okay, I'm not here to judge anybody, but that's just part of your life story. And I want you guys to really look up, um, what is, is his name, Anthony Hopkins? Is that the guy that played Hannibal? Look up what he says about regrets because it'll probably change your frame. 
like the way you think about things and it might even set you off and have a big cry and then and that's going to release so much like it's going to open portals for you but anyway nice intense reading for you for a monday so take care <laughs> bye